we'll do a couple little video segments and then we'll say now to find out what we messed up. Stat Boy. Or and we'll throw it over to you or, and then you'll just be on a, in the studio and you'll just speak to them their mistakes and they'll say thank you and then we'll move on with the rest of the show. So this is where you're going to be seated. Antonio and Mike will be sitting right there on set. No one will play basketball I'm never nervous because you use their energy to play the game. So you are right there. Okay. You are in the control. When you don't control, you get nervous. Get makeup, you get makeup. Wow. Keep doing, keep doing. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, one. Roll red, up red, track, open robots, mic, doing music, ready to three. I'm gonna put on my robot, Tony Apple. Made some big announcements today. Tony would say, Time to find out what we messed up. And you'd say, Mike, you asked how old Eli Manning is? He is 33, and Peyton is 38. That work for Mike, you? You asked how old Eli Manny is. He's 33. And Peyton is 38. So, this is what they call the big finish? Yeah. So, they'll do happy 29th birthday, J.R. Smith. Happy anniversary to Chip Kelly. Happy trails to Donald Trump, John Donald Joey. Toss the arrows and emissions. That's you. If you want, you can, you know, you'll look here. Like this? Yeah. Oh, you okay. Can, Okay, it's the Rocky Club. Rocky Club is the good. I already know the lines. There you go. George, you look no. good in makeup, my man. Oh, you too. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tony Reality is no longer with us, so it's time to find out what we messed up from his replacement. Mike, you ask how old this uh, Eli Manning is. He's 33, and Peyton is 38. That guy's pretty big. He's pretty big. Great thanks to George Muris on the Washington Wizards ambassador of basketball. George, Watch me stand to my full height. Stand up, this Tony. is over for me. Tony, stand I'm up. I'm standing. I used to be six feet. You, people have to remember, we go back. We covered him. We covered him when George was playing. Yeah, we watched him play. And the Wizards, the Bullets, <laughs> had a bullets. real run going on there. And George was at the center of it. And I once, people asked Michael Jordan why his field goal percentage was lower against the Bullets than any other team at that time. And he said, hey, George Murison, you knuckleheads, it's George Murison because he clogged the lane. He made it difficult for, for Michael Jordan, so he made it difficult for the rest of the Bulls. It was great when George was here and part of a team that looked like he was going to go somewhere. Very cool to have him here today. Very cool. I mean, he was one of the most popular athletes in Washington when he Absolutely. played. Absolutely. He really was. And that, that's a town where the popular athletes were always playing on the football team. And he was one of the most popular fun time. so it's very nice Glad to have to him it. here to help us out like that. We're very appreciative. It's fully a good experience. Uh, first interview I attempt I have was Tony somewhere in 94, 95, and uh, was in the radio, but I actually was in the phone. And I was so nervous. I was, uh, I was the most nervous I ever was when I had that interview, because in that time, I was listening to Tony a lot more, and I think he was ever shown the radio in that time. And uh, right now, uh, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself, so I, I try to to best I can. You think you could be the stat boy full time? I don't know about that one, but uh, everything is possible. <laughs>